Hi everybody, welcome to this video. We're going to develop now exercises 6 to 9 of chapter 32. Remember, this is a book of Gregory Mankiw, Principles of Economics, and this chapter is called A Macroeconomic Theory of the Open Economy. Six questions says, a senator renounces his past support for protectionism. The U.S. trade deficit must be reduced, but import quotas only annoy our trading partners. If we subsidize U.S. exports instead, we can reduce the deficit by increasing our competitiveness. Using a three-panel diagram show the effect of an export subsidy on net exports and the real exchange rate. Do you agree with this, Senator? Well, first we start with the first market. Remember, the, mar the first market that we have in the top left is called the market for loanable funds. We have in the supply all the savers and we have in the demand all the investment plus the net capital um, here we have the, the net capital alpha. So here we have these two these two uh, variables. Then with this we fix the real interest rate, and with this real interest rate we fix our our net capital flow because the real interest rate is like the price of the money. It's like basically when you have a higher interest rate, you incentive to foreign capitals to come to our country. In this case, well, the U.S because we are talking about now the US. So then here we have the real interest rate and then with this one we found the uh, the net capital outflow which should be the supply of dollars and then we have the demand for this. When we have basically more exports provided by the subsidy for the exports we have a shift to the left for the demand for dollars okay then we have a higher uh, demand for dollars because more people need to buy dollars in order to pay us our trade so then for this reason we have more demand for US dollars but at the same time we experience an appreciation of the exchange rate and remember when there is an appreciation of the exchange rate I need to provide less dollars for the other money so for this case we have an incentive to import so then this change in the next net exports of an increase of exports is compensated by an increase in the imports so net uh, export remain exactly the same so then as a consequence we just have an increase in the real exchange rate and there is uh, there is no change in the trade deficit. Trade deficit should be exactly the same. 7. Suppose the United States decides to subsidize the exports of US agricultural products but it does not increase taxes or decrease any government spending to offset this expenditure. So it means that there is no change in the fiscal policy. Using a three panel diagram showed what happens to national saving, domestic investment, net capital outflow, net e uh, the interest rate, the exchange rate and the trade balance. Also explain in words how this US policy affects the amount of imports, exports and net exports. Well here we have the top left, we have the real interest rate and the quantity of loanable funds. Here is the market for loanable funds which determines the real interest rate which is going to determine as a consequence the net capital flow and then here net capital outflow and then here we have well when there is a an outflow and then here we have the net capital flow and then we have the real inter the real exchange rate and the quantity of dollars well actually it's pretty much similar as, as the previous exercise we have with this an increase uh, in the demand so then as a consequence we have like more uh, more exports but then because well this is provided then we have as a consequence a more demand for US dollars then there is an appreciation of the exchange rate so there is um, a consequence of more imports so then it's like pretty much the similar of the previous one so we have like increase in the imports 
uh, increase in the exports and net exports should remain the same. 8. Suppose that real interest rates increase across Europe. Explain how this development will affect U.S. net capital outflow. Then explain how it will affect the U.S. net exports by using a formula uh, from the chapter and by drawing a diagram. What will happen to the U.S. real interest rate and real exchange rate? So then, here we have uh, again the market for loanable funds, here we have the net capital flow, and here we have the real exchange rate. So then, as a consequence of the uh, of increase of the real interest rate, what we call this is a capital flight. So then, as a capital flight, we have an increase of the net capital outflow. So it means that more money that is uh, now in the United States in domestic assets, they will find better yields, better better returns. So then it should be a capital flight. So then because uh, this case there is a higher demand for foreign capital so then we have a supply of dollars um, increased because we have more dollars available instead because we are exchanging for uh, foreign uh, assets. So then we are going to see why exports are cheaper. First movement uh, shift to the right to the demand of the market for loanable funds. As a consequence the the net capital outflow should be higher because more people will acquire, will purchase foreign assets so then for a higher uh, real interest rate we have a higher uh, net capital flow so then here should be the supply of in the real exchange rate in the in the market for uh, the um, the the currency or or exchange rate we have here a shift to the rev to the right so then as a consequence we have here uh, a depreciation of the currency when we have depreciation of the currency the exports are cheaper then we can export more and we are going to be more competitive in the market in the market outside so then here is what we have the in the in the equation s is equal i plus net capital alpha and here this part will be higher so then will be an increase of the demand nine suppose that americans decide to increase their saving a if the elasticity of uh, of the U.S. net capital outflow with respect to the real exchange rate is very high, will this increase in private saving have a large or a small effect on U.S. domestic investment? B. If the elasticity of the U.S. exports with respect to the real exchange rate is very low, will this increase in private saving have a large or a small effect on the real exchange rate? Let's have a look here. As usual, we have the three panes. And then the important thing, which curve is going to move? So stop the video and think a little bit. Which is going to move? The market for real loanable funds or the initial change should be the net capital flow or the real or the exchange rate should be the change. Let's have a look here. So then after you analyze, verify if that was okay. So then here the situation when we have uh, uh, an increase in the in their saving, well actually don't have a look here to this one. It was by default like sticking the other one so don't pay attention to this let's have a look here we have a supply an increase in the supply of the market for loanable funds because the supply of market loanable funds is provided by savers so then we have here an increase of this saving so then as a consequence the supply shift to the right when we have an increase in the in the um, in the saving then we are going to have here a lower interest rate because this is the price of the money so then we have a, de a, de a decrease of the of the real interest rate and as a consequence we have here an increase of the net capital flow why because basically when we have a lower interest rate maybe other uh, other capitals will find it better yields, better returns. So then here for this situation of the lower interest rate we have here in this case we have the uh, in this case a depreciation 
of the currency so for this reason we have that maybe we are going to be tempted to export more for a depreciation of the money this is like a standard elasticity legs or, or this is like kind of uh, low elasticity so which is called inelastic okay let's have a look exaggerating this curve what is asking in point A in point B so this is like kind of the solution of point B let's have a look when it's very high so then should be this one the curve that relates real interest rate with the net capital flow so then here should be a higher shift of the supply in the real exchange rate market so then as a consequence should be a higher depreciation so more in this case more elastic more depreciation of the currency therefore should be more incentives of more people or to the exports and this incentive to the imports in this case okay i guess that's all for this video i hope it has worth it has helped and um, as any time you can comment you can maybe you can say something you have solved in different way as usual thank you subscribe like share and that's it Bye-bye.